hello and welcome to this 0 AD Alpha 23. Today I will be giving a short overview of the new Kushite civilization. Now the civilization description given in game is as follows. The Kingdom of Kush was an ancient African kingdom situated on the confluences of the Blue Nile, White Nile and River Atbara in what is now the Republic of Sudan. The Kushite era of rule in the region was established after the Bronze Age collapse of the New Kingdom of Egypt and it was centred at Napata in its early phase. They invaded Egypt in the 8th century BC and the Kushite emperors ruled as pharaohs of the 25th dynasty of Egypt for a century, until they were expelled by the Assyrians. Kushite culture was influenced heavily by the Egyptians with Kushite pyramid building and monumental temple architecture still extant. The Kushites even worshipped many Egyptian gods including Amun. During classical antiquity, the Kushite imperial capital was at Meroe. In early Greek geography, the Meroitic kingdom was known as Aethiopia. The Kushite kingdom persisted until the 4th century AD when it weakened and disintegrated due to internal rebellion, eventually succumbing to the rising power of Aksum. The three main new buildings the Kushite civilization bring to the game are the Mur, the Mur Three, and the Perglmn. Uh, there's also a Blemi and a Nuba village for mercenaries. Uh, the Mur, so the small pyramid, is a special building unique to the Kushites and workers will have a plus 15% gather rate near these pyramids. The same thing applies to the large pyramid but they also receive a 10% territory influence expansion as long as it stands and a plus 10% attack for soldiers in the same 60 metre radius that the uh, gather rate improvement also has. There's the per Ibn, uh, which uh, trains special, you get a Napatan temple guard from there. It's got a decent 11 hack attack. They can do um, more than once a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm not super sure what's different from this civilization to the others, as I only really have experience with some of the basic units from some of the basic structures. But, oh no, there's also uh, Nastasin. She is the she is the savior of Kush. Uh, she gives allied units plus ten attack in a sixty meter radius and a plus fifty percent loot bonus from uh, the loot that you receive killing enemy units. As she also she he um he can also enable you to build Ptolemaic mercenary triremes at a minus twenty five percent resource cost and yeah inspired defense is similar to in most hero type units. Ah, this is the this is the lady, Amnerens Kore Lekdueli. 
Um, she's a warrior queen who has a plus twenty percent attack and plus two capture for champion units. Hmm, in a sixty meter radius. Interesting. <laughs> and the regular inspired defense. That's hmm. That's interesting. For champion units specifically. And uh. I'm going to try what I think this is. Um, <laughs> er, yeah. er, k, k, im, I can't do the thing, probably. Um, <laughs> regular inspired defense. The fire of tradition. Uh, yeah, it causes temple and Amun and its Napatan temple guards a plus 20% cost and build time. So that's like a negative. I personally think that these negative ones should be in red text and the positive ones in green text because, yeah, there's some of them that have negative quote-unquote bonuses or like negatively, like you don't want them <laughs> kind of thing. Like you got to weigh it against what it gives you, which, I mean, ah, Apedemak temples and it's Meroe temple guards are negative 25. So... Amun and Apedemak, is that the difference between the Napatan, Meroitic, Napatan, wait, what was that? Yeah, Napatan Temple Guards and Meroia Temple Guards. Meroia Temple Guards, Napatan Temple Guards. Yeah, you want... Wait, you don't want Napatan Temple Guards to cost more, because they're better, aren't they? Hmm, maybe you build a bunch of them and then build that. I have no idea. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> get into the meta, meta game. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, anyway, I'll show, you, I'll show you what, like, literally they actually look like would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I'll boot up. The Napata reconstruction, for starters, and show you the pyramids. I know that I can do that pretty easily. You can also see, I mean, look at this. Napata or Napata? Napata, I think it would be Napata actually. It's Incredible. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I, I, I can't actually have the water texture turned up because there's a bug with my graphics drivers. So the water would generally look even better. These horses running around. I'm always stunned by these, like how nice the textures are. Like we're zoomed in like this at 1440p. It's a bit, you can, can kind of see that it's a texture, but... That here, it's like, whoa, <laughs> the detail though, they're nice, they're nice textures. Yeah, so here's, here's what the buildings look like. Some of the more special ones over here. And the pyramids. So here's your big pyramid here. The Mirror 3. Mirror 3? I don't know. Here's what it looks like from every angle. Because why not? There's a lady on the side there. There's two fellas here. And another lady on the side there. Right. And the regular size ones. what they look like. <laughs> and there's more over here. <laughs> Looks cool, eh? <laughs> right. Now I will boot into something else. Ah, the other one. And Actually, I can do that straight away. I was going to cut that into a different video, but literally that'll take a second. Um, 
Couche at sandbox. Although, uh, hold on. I'll just uh, cut that point just a second ago there. Just so in case this eats my CPU again. I think maybe... No. Yeah, I had the wrong settings before. That's why it was eating my CPU. Okay. Yeah, so here's some of the units and stuff. Regular ladies. There's what, one, two, three, four types of lady. Is that one different than that one? Yeah. A couple of different types of lady. Some different spearmen. I'll go over the special ones. Here's the special ones. Here's this guy, Nastasen and Ankare. Ankare? Ankare? Wow, I like his horses. Like, zeep. What is that? Um. Ah, oh, it's. The height of one of these things over here. This. What's that called? Giraffe. Why do I. I've forgotten the name for giraffe. It's just a slight aside here. I've forgotten the name for giraffe twice this week. And I, why? <laughs> why have I done that? I can't believe I've done this. It's like that video. Um, I was referring to the I can't believe you've done this video if you want to experience a classic meme. Although it's not safe for work. By the way, he swears. Um, Amnurens Core Lictueli. I like this name. It's like easy to say even if you don't, can't, you know, you can't speak the language properly or really at all. Um, yeah, she's cool. Amnurens. That's actually a really nice name. I really like that name. Um, <laughs> regular elephant and then super elephant. Uh, Urk. Mm. Mm. Or uh, Arakamani. Okay, so that's like the easier way of saying it. Yeah. And then a uh, Hutterm one of That's just a regular one of these. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you can do this now too, eh? Um, bring these guys out of here. Just, just, just do that a bit quicker. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is new or not. Oh, there's that thing too. I don't know if this is new or not, but you can do this now. And I don't know if you used to be able to do this. So I right-clicked and held it down. And now check this out. They do that. They, like, make the shape. I, I like that. <laughs> I don't know how useful it is, but I like it. Um, oh yeah, that's what the wonder looks like. The wonder looks nice. I've got to try and compensate for the way that YouTube's going to compress this. Like do two quick movements and then hold for a second for the compression to catch up. Alright, that's this is like the super temple. It gives you those better Are they better? I assume they're better. I just I'm just gonna assume they're better for now. <laughs> yeah. Um What is <laughs> go away as the tower? Um Yes. And who blue Blaho Glumul. Yes, um, this thing. Shanak Daketo. This is a cataflac. And it's a rel. Ah, oh, it's their relic type. I guess there's a unique relic for every civilization. That's pretty rad. Um,. <laughs> earliest Nubian queen, ruling with full power in the Meroe. Empire and also playing a significant role in the Meroitic religion, Shanak Daketo represented the might of Kush, something not to be taken lightly. Or all enemy female citizens minus fifteen percent gather rate? What? Do that when they say gather rate, do they mean like gathering for every resource or just from like 
gathering, like foraging. Oh no, that's foraging, not gathering, isn't it? Yeah, so it's not it's not just berries; it's everything, isn't it? That's insane. I'm sure that's OP. <laughs> um, pardon me. And temple at Naga, as in all cultures, religion played a significant part in the Meroe Empire. Shanaktaketo had the temple built around 160 BC as a symbol of the advancedness of Meroe. Plus one garrison heal rate for nearby temples with an 80 metre radius. The main point of why I bring it up, though, is the first time I saw this, I thought to myself, wait, Sharknado? <laughs> what? <laughs> But it's Shalak Daketo, and I was just, yeah, I need to adjust my DPI scaling or something. But I like having everything small. You feel more on the screen. <laughs> um, yeah. This is what they look like when they're doing that. They jiggle around like that. And then, urgh, stabby stab time. There we go. That's what they look like when they're stabbing. <laughs> stabbing a building. Good game we'll play. Don't I win now? Why don't I win at this point? I don't understand. <laughs> this happened the last time too. Like the win condition is messed up. I'm sure they've got nothing left. It's on, um, passive AI or something, because it's a sandbox. There's no, there's nothing, nobody anywhere. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's, yeah, Kushites. There's probably some more stuff that they do. <laughs> or are. And more things that they are. But, I don't really know enough about the game to know what they are. As far as I know these are the unique, the things that I've gone over are the things that are specifically unique. Um, although there was like a fire ship or something. Um, was that someone else? Is that an upgrade? To something? Light warship? I don't know. Maybe it was another civilization. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you liked this, you know, kind of mess of a video. It started off all right. Like, I practiced the first part a few times because like, I kept messing it up. It wasn't the kind of thing that I could just do. I had to practice it. <laughs> and then I just didn't pay any attention to what I was going to do for the rest of this entire video at all. Haven't I been doing this? Oh. That entire time, I was clicking on that goat and telling it to move around the map. I did that like four times while there was all these, I mean, yeah, priority to the important thing, but gee, <laughs> that, that was, that was a bit, uh, yeah, that was something. Okay, watch this giraffe walk slowly for a while while I get ready to say... Uh, <laughs> I hope you have a good one, and peace.